This is the next version of my robot arm, still based on two linear actuators for each of the, the directions, but this time I've connected it up to a rotary potentiometer instead of using the built-in linear potentiometer in the actuators themselves. This allows me to measure the angles directly rather than back calculating from the length of the actuators. The overall design now is aluminium instead of uh, wooden aluminium uh, just to add a little bit of rigidity. I've also added a spring in series with the linear actuators now to introduce some compliance to the system. This increases uh, the safety of the system and means that the linear actuators won't uh, drive the system apart if you accidentally push them too far and also allows me to measure the the um, forces directly created by the actuators by measuring the displacement of the springs. Um, the system will push back against as I as I push on the on the arm, the, the forces are taken up by the spring, and the linear actuator will either extend or shrink um, to maintain the angles uh, of 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 the arm. As far as accuracy goes, I think it's slightly worse than the previous design. Um, as far as hysteresis goes, if I, if I measure where I, my starting point and then move away from the original position to the left, oops, let me go back, uh, so this is the original position here. Now if I move away to the left, and then come back, it doesn't quite come back to where it started, but if I go away to the right and then come back, it comes back almost exactly where it started. So I think this is a hysteresis perhaps um, directly inside the uh, linear potentiometer. It might also be because there's some flex in the system. I'm not 100% sure What's, what's causing this, but um, for my next design, I think I will use uh, a magnetic encoder instead of the uh, rotary potentiometer and see if that reduces some of the um, hysteresis and increases the accuracy just that little bit more.